Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Hallelujah. I am Pastor Sherry O'Weathersby. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I'm on Heart Ministry. Praise God. The Roku channel. Amen. Praise God. I'm, and on this ministry, praise God, is that's the truth anyhow. Praise God. I'm usually here with my husband, Pastor Arthur Lee Weathersby, but he's not feeling well. But nevertheless, we are here to, to do our part. Amen. And to be blessed along with you. Amen. Praise God. Because God is still good and he's still worthy to be praised. Amen. You are my strength. Mm. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. It reaches to me. Lord, you are my strength. Mm. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. It reaches to me in the fullness of your grace, in the power of your name. You lift me up. Mm. Oh, yes, you do, Lord. You lift me up. Oh, in the fullness of of your grace in the power of your name you lift me up mm. oh yes you do you lift me up you are my strength Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You are my strength. Father, we just want to thank you and praise you, God, and give you glory because you alone are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. You are, hallelujah, our strength. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Father, we just want to thank you. Hallelujah, God. And just bless your name because you're worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. We thank you for being here one more time, Heavenly Father, on Heart Ministry, Oh God Network, the Roku channel. Hallelujah. Oh God, with the founders, pastors, Ken and Brenda Divers, oh God, we just want to thank you for continuing to strengthen and bless them. Father, we want to thank you for the audience, the supporters, the listeners, God, all those that are praying. We want to thank you for all the ministry gifts, Heavenly Father, that stem from this platform, oh God, hallelujah, supplying our every need according to your riches and glory by Christ. Christ Jesus. Father, hallelujah. We bless your name. We bless your name. We thank you for your word that you're just going to freshly and friendly remind us of God that we may continue to be alerted to what you are still saying unto us. Oh, God, for such a time as this. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. For the truth of your word. Hallelujah. Because that truth is what makes us free. Hallelujah. From error, from being deceived. Oh, God, from being discouraged. Hallelujah. My father, we, from being disappointed. Oh, God, and we just want to bless your name. Bless your name. Bless your name. Bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I'm so excited with about being with you praise God us being together hallelujah just one more time hallelujah and it's a good thing to be here y'all for such a time as this amen and we just want to praise God, allow the Lord to uh, just minister to us and just refresh us maybe with uh, what we already know. And some may not all, all, some may not know, but nevertheless, we are here, hallelujah, with our ear to the mouth of the Lord, hallelujah, as he continued to encourage us. Amen. Because how many know that we need encourage in these last and evil days? Amen. Praise God. So we're going to talk about draw your strength from God. Draw your strength from God. Hallelujah. We know it's a whole lot of ways that we can look to draw our strength from. Amen. But God want to remind us, draw your strength from me. Praise God. As the song had said earlier, God, you are our strength like 
no other. Strength is power, y'all. It's the power of God. Now let's look at Ephesians, the sixth chapter. Amen. Just to start off, Ephesians, the sixth chapter. Amen. We're going to start at the 10th verse coming out of the Amplified Study Bible for all of our scripture readings. And we will read this in our hearing. Praise God. Ephesians 6 and 10. In conclusion, be strong in the Lord. Now we know there's no other place to be strong and no other one to be strong in but the Lord, our God, right? Amen. Draw your strength from him. And be empowered through your union with him and in the power of his boundless might. So we know the word of God is to the saints of God. Amen. Praise God. And we believe in and hoping and praying and decreeing that someone out there will be, allow Jesus Christ to come into your heart and save your soul. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. But when you get in Christ, hallelujah, praise God. And, and he begins to empower us, praise God, with his Holy Spirit. That's the strength that you and I are to draw from. Praise God. And what makes it so powerful is we need to continue to walk in a daily intimate relationship with God. How in the world will you and I be able to draw strength from anything or anybody more important than the Lord if we're not walking in a relationship with him? Amen. It says here and be empowered through your union. Hallelujah. When you walking with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, praise God, and, and you're walking, praise God, hallelujah, with his power and strength, praise God. That's a whole lot of power, y'all. That's a whole lot of strength because you're unified, praise God, being one with him, one in, one in harmony, one in mind, one in soul, one in speech, praise God, hallelujah, one in strength, praise God. And we all need strength, y'all, amen. Praise God. We thank God for salvation. Thank God for being filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Praise God. But hallelujah. We still need hallelujah. God, we cannot make it on our own as we already know. Hallelujah. We need the strength of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise God. And the 11th verse says of Ephesians 6 chapter, put on the full armor of God. Hallelujah. So this is all about drawing from the strength, drawing from the power of God. Why? Because it's not by your and my power. It's not by our might, but it's by the spirit of the living God. It's not about us. It's all about him. Praise God. So when we say what? Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Great is his power. Hallelujah. In us. Praise God. And anything that we can look to in this world. Hallelujah. Praise God. It's just not enough to uh, quote the scripture. Praise God. But we must understand, praise God, as we read what it means to us. What is this saying? That no matter what we go through as a child of God, no matter what the trials or circumstances is, hallelujah, I'm not by myself. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, I am, we are not alone. Hallelujah, he's our comfort, always holds us close. Oh yes, we're not alone. Hallelujah, we've got the strength of God and the things that he has told us to do. Now we have to be obedient to his word. Amen, hallelujah, because we do have a word to live by. Amen, and it's God's word, not our word, not somebody else's word. So it goes on to say, praise after it tells us to draw our strength from him and be empowered. Hallelujah. Praise God through your love for him, through your relationship and my relationship with him in the power of his boundless might. It's boundless, y'all. It's limitless. Then it goes on to say, put on the full armor of God, the full armor for his precepts are like the splendid armor of a heavenly armed soldier. Praise God. So that you may be able to successfully Hallelujah. Praise God. Successfully stand up. Stand up. Not down, but stand up. God gives us strength to stand up. Praise God. Because we're not coward soldiers. Hallelujah. God's strength will take us from being a coward to a warrior. 
Isn't that all right? Warrior in him. Praise God. Fighting what? The good fight of faith. Praise God. And when his word speaks to us, you and I, praise God, must have faith in his word. His word right there, when he gives his word, when we read his word, if we sing his word, however which way the word comes to us, amen, we got to apply ourselves to the strength, to the hope, to the promise of God's word, amen, because how many know that a promise is a promise, hallelujah, so what? Put on the full armor of God, just like we put on our natural clothes to cover us. Amen. Praise God. We have to remember, praise God, that clothes is not our strength. Our hair is not our strength. Praise God. This makeup, praise God, with shoes, water, it's not our strength. It makes us feel good, but it ain't our strength because we're fighting. We're in a warfare, y'all. Hallelujah. We fight a spiritual battle every day, every second of the day. We need to remember to dress for success. And I mean success in God. I don't mean the success that the world is talking about, but I mean success in God. Amen. And when you got the right clothes on, when you're dressed for success, you will be successful. Amen. So put on the full armor of God for his precepts are like the splendid armor of a heavenly armed soldier. We got to be heavily armed, y'all. Hallelujah. Not with nobody else's armor. Amen. Hallelujah. We haven't tried what nobody else has got on. We need to put on the armor of God. Amen. So that you may be able to successfully stand up against the schemes and the strategies and the deceits of the devil. <clears throat> Excuse me. The 12th verse says, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood. Our fight is not against one another. Amen. But it's against what? We're contending with physical or contending with physical opponents. No, that's not what our, who our, what our struggle is against. But it's against what? Rulers. Against the powers. Against the world forces of this present darkness. Against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly supernatural place. This is where we do battle at, praise God, in the spiritual realm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So God wants us to draw from his strength. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And we're going to take a break. Amen. We'll be right back. Hello, I'm Pastor Vangelis Arthur L. Weathers. And I am Pastor Sherry O. Weathers. Well, that's just the truth anyhow Amen. with the Weathers Be brought to you by Heart Ministry Network. You know, we have a program on Wednesdays. That's right. Wednesday, every Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. On Heart Ministry Network and the Roku Network. Amen. You can see us. We hope that you come and join us. And we, we'll be, oh yeah, we're having a great time. All right, be blessed. We do the thing. We do the thing. In, In the, the Lord. Lord. God, God bless you. you. Bye-bye. All right, I'm back. We're back. Hallelujah. Me, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Praise God. And we were talking about what? Drawing our strength from God. And we were in Ephesians, the sixth chapter. Praise God. And we're going to read um, the 12th verse. For it says, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood. Otherwise, it's not against contending with physical opponents. We're not, uh, should not be against one another in the body of Christ. Hallelujah. I'm not against you. You're not against me, but we should be joining forces together because you know, there's strength in unity. It's not so much numbers because you can have a whole lot of people, hallelujah, as far as head counts. But that don't mean that, praise God, everybody's got the same mind, hallelujah, and the same attitude, praise God. It's not so much strength in numbers, but it's strength when you're unified. Hallelujah. Together in that one common cause, that one common goal. And that's to bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's to lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And shout it everywhere we go. We would agree on God's word because God's word is strength. Hallelujah. Praise God. God's word is what empowers you and I. Amen. That's why we need to continue to study God's word to show ourselves approved unto him. A workman, not needing to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. Amen. So we know that the scripture is familiar. Praise God in Ephesians 6 chapter. But we don't want the word of God to be so familiar that we don't understand, praise God, what he is saying to us when it comes back around to us again. Because every time the word comes to us and we say, oh, I know that. I, I heard that before. No, no, no. Because if we really know it, we'll apply ourselves to it. Amen. And we'll receive the strength of it because once again, every 
every time we hear the word of God, we're on, we're in a different place. Praise God in our tests and our trials and our tribulations. Praise God. Hallelujah. Even as we're uh, sitting in this world, praise God. So the word of God always is speaking to us. No matter how many times we may hear the same chapter, we may hear the same scripture. Praise God. We got to realize this is our strength. This is our food for the journey. Amen. So it goes on to say for our struggle is not against flesh and blood contending only with the physical opponents, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the uh, war, uh, world forces of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in what? Heavenly spiritual places. Once again, as we said earlier, we say it again, our warfare, praise God, we must do battle in the spirit realm. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And it goes on to say in the 13th verse, therefore put on the complete armor of God. Put it on. Hallelujah. Remember, it's not about our dress, our outward appearance. We've got to put on by faith. And it's always good to study the pieces of the armor. I did before, praise God. And every now and then I go back to see and be refreshed, praise God, and be empowered again with greater illumination and enlightenment and understanding of what each armor does for me, what it does for you. Amen. So therefore put on the complete arm of God so that you will be able, once again, it says it, to successfully, praise God, isn't this all right? This is a successful a salvation that we walk in, that we live in. Amen. God meant for us to be successful. Praise God. Successfully resist. Hallelujah. And stand your ground. Hallelujah. When you are empowered, praise God with the strength of God and the strength of his word, the strength of, of the Holy Spirit. Praise God. That means you got confidence. Hallelujah. Praise God. You don't have to fear because God is near. Amen. Praise God. We got bold confidence, not being arrogant or sassy or anything like that, but we got bold confidence. Praise God, because we know where our help come from. We know who our help is. Amen. Praise God. And that's God all by himself. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God almighty. Hallelujah. He strength y'all. Hallelujah. Praise God. We don't want to fight against our strength. Praise God. But we want to work along with our strength and just finishing up verse 13. Praise God. So that you will be able to successfully resist. Hmm. And stand your ground. Hallelujah. I'm going to go over to, if we can, right quick. Amen. If we can find that. And it says, um, it's James 4 and 7. Amen. And sometimes we quote that scripture wrong. Amen. I know I did for years. Amen. Praise God. And it says, may not be able to find it but it says some um submit yourself to god resist the devil and he will flee many times we hear people saying what resist the devil and he will flee but how in the world are we going to resist the devil until unless we submit first submit resist and he'll flee amen praise god hallelujah only for a season and in that season, we should be girding up the loins of our mind, praise God, hallelujah, and continuing in prayers and, and fasting to, to, to stay strong in him. In Bible studies, studying the word of God, reading the word of God, we must submit to resist, how to, to withstand, hallelujah, all the strategies of the enemy, praise God, hallelujah. That's why we're more than conquerors through Christ that gives us what? The strength. Hallelujah. Amen. So therefore, put on the complete arm of God so you will be able to, su to successfully resist, stand your ground in the evil day of danger. And having done everything that the crisis demand. Hallelujah. King James Virgin said, having done all to do to stand firm in your place. 
Don't let the enemy move you off your place, move you off the position, what? Of being a believer in Christ, hallelujah. Of being a representative, of being an ambassador for God, hallelujah, amen. Praise God, we gotta provoke one another daily in the word of God because he, all, he's, he strives to seek to cast us down from within, from the excellency of the word of God that we have, amen. Praise God, but we have to turn around with the strength and power Power of God and cast down vain imaginations and everything that would exalt itself above the knowledge of God. Hallelujah. That's in our soul. Praise God. So having done everything that the crisis demands to stand firm in your place, fully prepared. Hallelujah. Immovable. Victorious. Hallelujah. This is what in part the strength of God does for us. It makes us immovable. I remember David saying, I shall not be moved. Otherwise, I'm resolved about who I am in God and who he is in me. You got to be resolved about who he is in you. Praise God and who God is in you and who you are in him. Rather, amen. You got to be resolved and resilient about that. Amen. Unmovable. Always abounding in the word of the Lord, in the work of God, the word of God. Because our labor in him is not in vain in the Lord. When you labor in this word, hallelujah, let this word get into your heart, get into my heart, praise God, and start breaking up some fallow ground, hallelujah, praise God, in our hearts so our hearts can be made applied to God, hallelujah, that he may be able, hallelujah, to lead God and direct us, praise God, without having to struggle. See, when you're empowered in God, you don't have to struggle. I don't have to struggle. Praise God, hallelujah, praise God. The struggle is over because we've got strength. Hallelujah, strength from Almighty God to be able to do what? Live this life that God is calling for us to live. We need strength, y'all. We need strength in our mind. We need strength in our soul. Hallelujah. Praise God. Because when he came in, he came in as strength. Hallelujah. The moment we receive Jesus Christ as our personal Savior, God entered in. Hallelujah. With all power. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We've got the greater one down on the inside of us. Praise God. That's why we can say amen. Praise God. Like Philippians 4.13 says what? Hallelujah. I can do what? All things. Hallelujah. Through Christ that gives what? Us the strength. Hallelujah. Praise God. We can do all things through Christ that gives us the strength. And I want to read it as the Amplified says. I can do all things which he has called me to do. Through him who strengthens and empowers me. To fulfill his purpose. We have been strengthened y'all. Not for ourselves. But for God. We're strengthened for one another. To help one another. Praise God. Through Christ in us. Praise God. Hallelujah. We can do all things through Christ. Who empowers us. To fulfill his purpose. We are here. Praise God. To fulfill the purpose of God. And we are self-sufficient. In Christ's sufficiency. And we're ready for anything. Equal to anything. Through him who infuses us with inner strength and inner peace. Praise God. I thank God. I thank God. I am pastor. Praise God. Sherry O. Weathersby. Praise God. With that's the truth. Anyhow. God bless you. We love you.